Hello, my name is Shamma. Me and my colleagues Nofa Zahmi, Maria Mithahri, and Nofa Shams will be presenting the design and construction management plan for a high performance building envelope for the Hope Pavilion. The Emirates Mars mission has entered the space exploration race in July 2014. This mission's purpose is to send an unmanned probe called the Hope Probe to Mars by 2021 to coincide with the UAE's 50th anniversary. The pavilion will be a symbol of recreation, scientific advancement, and modernity. The high-performance envelope which will enclose the pavilion is an advanced system, which contributes highly to sustainability. The pavilion will be futuristic, high-performance, and have high aesthetics, while being energy-efficient and sustainable, and it will follow a Safat building code. The cost will be around 6.5 million dirhams, the project duration around 11 months, and the pavilion aims to put 10 to 15 people at a time in the exhibition area and the area will be around 682 square meters. The Hope Pavilion is located on the Burj Park, downtown Dubai, surrounded by Burj Khalifa, Dubai Mall, and Dubai Opera. The building ground floor plan and first floor plan shown in the right side. Enter the building to the reception area. Moving to the exhibition area to get a unique insight into the Hope Probe journey. Then, you will exit by a walkway, the small shop in the right, and the cafe in the left side. Moving to the first floor by elevator or spiral stair, to the office, meeting room, and outdoor area. The figures on the left represent the elevations of the Hope Pavilion project, and the figures on the right represent some views for the project's exhibition area, cafe, and outdoor area. For the building element, we select the precast wall, curtain wall, and skylight glass, precast hollow core slab as a flooring system, and metal decking for the roofing system, with the U values that follow the sapphire and achieve the platinum sapphire. For the building structure system, we select steel rigid frame. We calculate the needed load to get the column beam and girder size. And for the envelope structure, we select steel shell which will be connected to the ground and by three column to the building. Then we use tab to verify the stability of the building and envelope. Moving to the sustainability part of the pavilion, it usually refers to the building facade system, which will act as a shell that will be designed to decrease the energy consumption in the project and improve the quality of indoor and outdoor environment by selecting the appropriate material and applying passive design strategies. The project will target it to reduce energy consumption in terms of the need of mechanical cooling load and improving the indoor thermal comfort. The project will also allow for natural lighting and through the curtain wall and the skylight and reduce energy consumption of lighting by reduce the uses of artificial light. Moreover, the pavilion follows the shading strategies by the implementation of the shell that provide shading, reduce heat gain and energy consumption. For the insulation part of the building also will be integrated and act as a barrier for the outdoor harsh weather conditions and reducing heat gain through building envelope, where was used for external walls, the floor and the roof. An analysis with the calculation was implemented to figure the amount of sufficient daylight received during day hours, which is known as the spatial daylight autonomy, and the amount of direct sunlight that received within the space, which is defined as the annual sun exposure. The result indicates that the annual sun exposure is dramatically decreased after adding the envelope, which proves that the envelope works sufficiently to shade the building and control the glare as well as reduction on the spatial daylight autonomy whereas the project will still receive the needed amount of daylight. Furthermore, the project plays an essential role in water saving. After implementing the grey water system, the released water from sinks will be treated to the standard required by the Dubai municipality and reused it for watering plants as well as flushing toilets. As shown, we did the calculation for estimating the total amount of water usage through the building and calculate the amount that's saving after implementing the grey water system. As a result, it has been attained about 15% reduction in water usage for the pavilion through the selected grey water system. 
The Hope Pavilion served the integrated photovoltaic system as a building envelope material and as a power generator. A product for the BIPV panel was selected and the simulation was developed using the BIM solar software to indicate the best place to allocate the PIPV with the highest irradiance. As shown, the connection of allocating PV panel on south elevation depend on the sun direction and the altitude of the base city and added on the top area of the envelope connected to the inverters. In order to achieve a high performance building envelope, the building energy performance has been acquired using Rivet Insight software. To compare the performance with and without the building envelope, as well as the changes of implementation of the BIPV panels. As a result, it shows that having the envelope will reduce about 10% energy saving, whereas the BIPV can reduce the energy by 50%, having them in total of about 60%. Moving briefly through the discussed points in this presentation, the main target for this project is to design an envelope that is high performance, high aesthetics with more building techniques, and visually appealing with a design that is sustainable. The unique steel structure for the shell gives a modernity and integrates the neighborhood location with the surrounded landmark. Related, the used system was selected to integrate and achieve the project high performance goals in terms of the energy consumption, time, sustainability, and operational efficiency, while adhering to a Safat building code regulation. To consume the minimum amount of the edge park system and the lighting have to be selected carefully based on the criteria for their long-term sustainability. The Hope Pavilion also has reached the target of reducing the energy consumption by the total of 60% from the total energy of the pavilion, whereas also the project has reached the targeted of having almost 50% that has been recycled from the total water use, which count also toward the project main aims. And now, we will see the animated video that shows the project as it's built in real life. <laughs> والإمارات اليوم أمل المنطقة نحن لا نعرف اليأس ولا المستحيل كان الاختيار على الأسم بسبار الأمل حيالي أخواني وخواتي نحن فخورين بكم وايد نحن فخورين بكم وايد وشبابنا هذولا هم أمل شباب العرب والمسلمين الإنسان الشيخ محمد بن راشد هذه كلها بركات وترفعون إيديكم أساس يعرفون الناس أن نحن نراهن على عيال دولة الإمارات ويشرفوننا في كل محفل إلى جميع الفرق إلى شعب دولة الإمارات إلى الأمة العربية والإسلامية نعلن نجاح وصول دولة الإمارات في مدار كوكب الأحمر اللهم لك الحمد اللهم لك الحمد اللهم لك الحمد